Hi everyone, Rod here from Dash Brazil. This is a short documentary that I put together after my seven days experience in Venezuela, spending every single minute paying everything with Dash Digital Cash, from my plane ticket to breakfast, lunch and dinner, my hotel and much more. I'm gonna take you on a small journey. I hope you enjoy. My experience started with chipair.com. All I had to do was look for a flight, input my information and the website would generate a QR code with the total amount of dash that will be extracted from my wallet. After that, all you have to do is scan the QR code, type in your wallet password and in just a matter of seconds, GoCoin, which powers the website payment system, will confirm your transaction. A few minutes later, you will receive an email with all your flight information. I guess now it's time to go to Venezuela. Every time I travel, I always bring my entire studio with me. And all these needs to fit in a backpack and a small carry-on. I always have to take two MacBook Pro, four cameras, about five microphones, the lighting kit, tripod, tons of cables, and tons of adapters. It's not an easy task. I also have to include my personal items and clothes. It's always a long trip for me. Every time I need to attend an event, it takes me about three hours in a bus ride from home to Chicago's airport. And you know, you gotta love airports. Always busy, always lines. I'm not really sure what to expect from Venezuela. It's my first time going there. But being Latino, being from Brazil, the cultural shock is not gonna be much. At this point, I better get some rest. It's just the first flight, then waiting in Panama for flight number two. But before we arrive, let's take a quick look in Venezuela's history and understand the current situation. Let's start with the location of Venezuela. Venezuela sits on a strategic location on the planet. And according to the PDVSA, Venezuela has 77 billion barrels of conventional oil as reserves. This put Venezuela in one of the top positions in proven reserves of conventional oil. But this also gives any president the notion of power. Hugo Chavez was elected in 1998, and he was seen as the man who was gonna bring Venezuelans out of poverty by using Venezuela's oil reserves. He had only one card to bet, and his card was oil. With the oil barrel costing an average of $100, he had a lot of money and a lot of political power on his hands. He also created several social programs for healthcare, food and education, and all these paid by the government. He's bringing a massive social change to Venezuela with the dependency 100% in oil. With all this money and power, Hugo Chavez decided to nationalize all the companies related to his government, where the state now controls 100% in a centralized organization by buying all the banks, cement company, electrical companies, and much more. And the mentality at the time was that Venezuela had enough money to import from cars to food, appliance, medication, clothes, agricultural products, everything that the population needed. And doing so, the government destroyed the entire capacity of production of the country with no economic model or business plan in place. But the period of the oil boom only lasted from 2004 until 2014. And yet, the Venezuelan's government did not save any money for a rainy day. By 2012, oil counts for 95% of Venezuela's export. And oil prices were over $100 per barrel. But at the same time, Hugo Chavez's health starts to decline. And this brings some uncertainty to Venezuela's country. And at the same time, a few other countries stop lending money to Venezuela. The end result is the decay of the national currency, the Bolivar, 
and the entire country dives into an economic collapse. Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez has died. But in 2013, Hugo Chavez dies of cancer. And his predecessor and right-hand man, Maduro, gets elected as a president. President Maduro gets a legacy of oil dependency in a very well disorganized country. But at this point, doesn't matter who takes over as president in Venezuela, the solution is not easy. And it won't come fast. Also, President Maduro is not well seen by the international community. And at the same time, the oil prices collapse, leaving Venezuela with absolutely no income. And this triggers a social collapse and a humanitarian catastrophe among all classes in Venezuela. With a huge increase of poverty and a shortage of all products on the shelves. As the price of oil keeps going down, Venezuela sees itself on a severe debt. And the government did not have enough dollars to buy the basics, like food or medication for the population. And in a matter of just a few days, all the products in a national scale disappears. And with heavy sanctions from the United States, it's almost impossible for Venezuela to come up with the money to pay its debt and bring the country out of poverty. From 2013 until 2017, the collapse of the economy brings hyperinflation, devaluation of the Bolivar, the national currency, increase even more poverty. And the solution founded by the government is to print more money, lots of money. And the people did not accept this quietly. In 2017, over 10,000 protests were registered. It's an average of 27 protests per day. But my purpose is different. I'm embarking on a trip to Venezuela to see a social quiet revolution brought by the cryptocurrencies and the blockchain, where the individual has the power to decide and not the government or the banks. Welcome to decentralization. I'm really excited to arrive in Venezuela. Having a Brazilian passport will help me a lot to get into the country. Also, Dash Venezuela, led by Eugenia Alcala, put together a schedule for me to visit every single accomplishment that they've done so far. And I'm talking about a 12-hour schedule daily for seven days non-stop. We're gonna be visiting the Chamber of Commerce. I was invited to be a speaker in two different conferences. And outside the airport, Dash Venezuela waits for me. They also got a taxi driver that accepts Dash. While driving from the airport, one of the things you'll notice in Caracas, Venezuela, you always see huge billboards with the president picture and his famous cryptocurrency, El Petro. But don't worry, Dash Digital Cash, led by Eugenia's team, also came up with a massive, huge billboard, in fact two, on the strategic location, place where thousands of people can see it every single day while they're driving from and back to work. And the most interesting thing is, there's also a phone number for you to call and ask any questions about Dash Digital Cash. And all this is funded by the Masternode community. One of the community members from Dash Venezuela, Honey Figueroa, shows me the amount of money I would have needed to pay for that taxi ride from the airport to the restaurant where we're going right now to have lunch. She's holding right now what it seems to be less than 25 cents in US dollars. But don't worry, we paid the cab ride with Dash this time. We also scheduled with the same driver to pick me up and follow me every single day during my trip here. After a long flight, our first stop is for brunch, where guess what? We also pay with Dash Digital Cash. There are over 100 restaurants just in Venezuela accepting Dash Digital Cash today. Another interesting thing you always see in Venezuela are lines for public transportation, supermarkets, or bank lines where the government today controls the amount of money you're allowed to withdraw from your own account at your own bank. I found this video online of a woman desperate 
for arriving late at the bank and not being able to use the money before the government ended up changing. And on her single unique protest, she just destroyed all the bank notes that are now useless. This is money, just paper. Hi everybody, Rod here from Dash Digital Cash Brazil. I'm in Caracas, Venezuela, and I'm here at the gas station, filling up the, the tank for one of the guys that's been driving me around here in the city. And just to let you know, one liter of gas here costs about one Bolivar, okay? So right now, if I had to pay for the gas with $5, a $5 bill, she will give me this amount of money as change. And here that I'm holding right now, you, I have about 75 cents of US dollar. This is exactly the reason why we need cryptocurrency, especially in a country like Venezuela. A stack of money like this has changed. And just to let you know, one dollar here in Venezuela, I would be able to fill it up over 200 cards for six months. The, the printing money is out of control and Dash Digital Cash is present except in over 30, 300 business here in Venezuela showing everybody why it's important to have a limited cryptocurrency and an excellent ecosystem like Dash to prevent situations like this. One of the major solutions created by Dash Digital Cash community brought to Venezuela was the Dash Merchant Program. This proposal is just one of the consequences from Dash Caracas conference and its incubator, motivating other community members to create proposals. Where so far they managed to implement Dash Digital Cash in over 300 businesses in Venezuela. It's a massive adoption program in the entire country that includes targeting merchants to improve their business, giving them all the legal aspect not to get in trouble with the government, and the merchant kit giving all the assistance that they need to organize their books. The program also developed a website that allows any merchant to have access to the conversion from local currency believers to Dash Digital Cash and US dollars, allowing the merchant to know right away how much it costs for their goods in cryptocurrency. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Eugenia Alcalá, yo soy la fundadora de Dash Venezuela. And as this is my first time in Venezuela, I had to go see for myself the amount of business accepting Dash from a medical lab who does over 50 types of blood work and exams, an appliance store that allows you to buy a TV, a washer, a dryer, an oven, a stove, a refrigeration, a microwave, or any type of appliances for your home. The store manager is such a big fan of Dash Digital Cash that he even add the Dash logo to his staff uniform. A tow truck business with over 2,000 trucks available to rescue 24-7 in case you have a car trouble. But if you feel like stopping at the mall, you can also use Dash Digital Cash at a unique fashion boutique for women's dedicated clothes only. There's even a motorcycle store that allows you to buy a motorcycle paying with Dash Digital Cash today in Venezuela. Dash Force News reported that there are over 300 business registered at Discovery Dash accepting Dash in Venezuela, which is a number higher than the United States. But the United States has 300 million citizens, where Venezuela has only 30 million. Today, there are 10 times more business accepting Dash in Venezuela than the United States. But the business adoption is much higher than that. Other business is starting to talk to other business on how to accept Dash. So at this moment, they have no idea how many businesses are accepting Dash. It is literally out of control. Once they see the advantage of using cryptocurrency, they switch to it right away. And most of the business did not even go through the Dash Venezuela program. And most important and my favorite, restaurants. Lots of restaurants accepting Dash Digital Cash. I spent seven days in Venezuela having breakfast, lunch and dinner in a different place every single day paying with Dash. From coffee shops to breakfast place, happy hours and of course main restaurants and expensive restaurants accepting Dash. One of the strategies adopted by the Dash Venezuela team, it's always to be present 
at startup meetings or business meetings around the city. In this case, I was present in one meeting in a coffee shop that also accepts Dash. The topic of the meeting this time was about the food truck business in Venezuela and how Dash can be a solution for their daily activities. Another proposal that originated from Dash Venezuela's conference, it's called Dash Help, where there's a local phone number available for anybody to make a phone call between Monday to Friday, 8 to 9, and ask questions about Dash Digital Cash, even technical questions. We're going to talk to the proposal owner. Alejandro, welcome. Hello. How are you? Rodrigo, welcome to Dash Help. This is it. This is our support center. So, welcome. Yeah, this is, a, this is phenomenal because it's, it's a real office location. And that's not it. There's another three rooms with Dash Merchant. Yeah. There's a kitchen for all the staff and employees to eat. And we had a meeting room, which and now we are in, in, transmitting the World Cup. Yeah. So everybody can see the, the matches from the World Cup that you guys use for training and for conferences. There's a projector room. We got to show all these, uh, these videos around. There's a reception. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about how many people is employed, full-time employed by this proposal that are working here. For Dash Hill, as I told you in, in Bogota, in the Crypto Latin Fest, for Dash Hill, we have one tech manager and four support agents. Right now in the office, we have the tech manager and three support agents. In the afternoon comes the, the other one, the fourth support agent. Okay. So we have uh, five people in Dash Help Support Center and in Dash Merchant we have more people but we're talking about Dash Help right now. Let's talk about yeah. Dash Merchant as well. How many people are on Dash Merchant? Which is Dash Merchant right now we have a new a new person so we have the product manager, the sales manager, we have two and we have eight sales agents yeah. and we have two executive assistants for, for assisting the, the sales agents in the office so I think 11, 12 people okay. in Dash Merchant. Plus five, six here. Yeah. But I mean, this is a real Dash office. It's a physical location. And all paid in Dash. It's important to mention that all, all the employees are paid in Dash. In that's Dash. important to mention, yeah. And that's not all. We also have the Dash Youth Venezuela. Dash Youth Venezuela is an organization focused on spreading knowledge about the Dash network and cryptocurrencies. How will we do this? We'll be offering lectures at schools and universities where we will explain crypto's basic aspects, benefits, and how to use and implement the Dash micropayment network as a solution to the situation Venezuela is going through, and building a strong financial system for the future. De Dash Venezuela acá con este servidor, ya han estado en alguna oportunidad, en la radio también, Eugenia Alcalá es la que ha estado con nosotros, muy bella además, fundadora de Dash Venezuela. The collapse of the economy in Venezuela got into such a point that every time that you say the word money or cryptocurrency, the news are all over the place. While I was there, I was invited to speak in one of the major channels about cryptocurrency and Dash Digital Cash, among with Eugenia. But this was also her third time on the same channel talking about Dash Digital Cash. In just one week in Venezuela, I was interviewed by over four different TV channels and radio stations. And Eugenia, the founder of Dash Venezuela, is constant on television talking about Dash. Dash went beyond being a cryptocurrency and a payment system in Venezuela and also became a social program for inclusion. The strategy used by Dash Venezuela team to everybody that attends a meeting or a conference is to give them a couple dollars as a trial, as a first time user experience in how to download a wallet and receive funds in Dash. But in order not to just give away money for free, this is actually a class to teach people how to have their first contact with a crypto wallet and cryptocurrency. Once they download the wallet, they receive the funds right away. But the engagement strategy is to also incentivize them to once they have the funds in their wallet, to pick one of the 12 institution and social programs already registered with Dash Venezuela and make a direct donation to sponsor those institutions. Doing so, the funds are well spent teaching people how to download a wallet, receive Dash, and send Dash right away. And also, 
help sustain a social program environment that's been helping a lot of people in Venezuela. Instead of giving money away for free to anybody, this money is going to social program, specific programs in Venezuela that's been helping even to feed people. Using cryptocurrency as donation to social programs is another one of the revolutions that Dash can bring to Venezuela, where your money goes directly, straight to the people that really needs, and not to big corporations to pay for marketing program or bonuses for managers. Another program that I'd like to mention here is from a different community that I'm also proud to say that I'm part of, from Bitcoin Cash community. It's called Eat Bitcoin Cash, where using the same donation system, anybody from anywhere can just donate a few dollars and help feed people in Venezuela. Eat BCH Venezuela has been such a success that another community is started, Eat BCH in South Sudan, when there's another humanitarian crisis where people are starving to death. But wait a minute, I grew up in the 80s and the 90s, and most of my favorite movies, and being a big science fiction fan, all they talk about it was the computer taking over mankind and dominating and controlling them. But right now, we have machines using electricity to create a digital asset that's being used to feed people. Nobody could predict this. This is just a small step of how disrupted this technology is. The event day is my favorite day of the week. We are excited to announce that over 1,000 people sign up for the lecture and the presentation and the death city that happens right after. Today, if you organize any type of event in Venezuela and you mention the word money, thousands of people will line up for hours to be part of the event and learn something new. And at the Dash Digital Cash Conference, there was no difference. My lecture was about the history of money and how Brazil had over 1.2 trillion percent inflation in 15 years. The government changed the name of the money seven times, cutting three zeros every time, changing the name of the money and printing new bills, manipulating the economy and creating mass chaos in Brazil for many years. We even had a president in Brazil that confiscated every citizen's money from inside their savings account in Brazil during the 90s. And today Venezuela is heading down the same road that Brazil did during the 80s and the 90s with hyperinflation, devaluation of the money and no control of printing money. The lecture was a success, the people really enjoy it. And now it's time to go check it out, the coolest part of the event, Dash City. Remember those few dollars that everybody got during the event once they check in and sign up for the conference? Well, now it's time to spend it. Dash City is a well-organized open market with over 100 merchants and entrepreneurs that accept Dash, and this happens right after the conference. Everybody gets out of the conference really excited about the new possibilities of using Dash in cryptocurrency, and then now they have the opportunity to use those Dash to buy a drink and a meal or put some money extra and of course buy some goodies they have available during this market. This is one of the best examples of well-spent funds sponsored by the Dash Treasury. And this is Dash City.
after 10 hours of event, the lecture, presentation, and Dash City, it's time to sit down, set up the studio, and record content for Dash Venezuela and Dash Brazil. The power of community in Venezuela is so strong that today they have over 22 community managers in charge of business adoption in their neighborhoods or cities around Caracas or Maracay, with simple instructions from Dash Venezuela in how to engage and promote Dash and also business adoption. They're changing the face how they organize the societies and accepting a new type of money. We managed to record over 25 interviews with the community managers and ask them simple questions. What is the best way to engage in your local business with the people in how to accept cryptocurrency and giving the community managers the total freedom in how to adapt to their situation, to their local economy. This has been the best strategy adopted by Dash Venezuela. Now it's time to hit the road and go to Maracay, the second largest city in Venezuela. Where is also another proposal, approved by the Masternode community, has been led by a team of titans. Maracay is also known for its industrial body and the amount of factors that they have in that city. Where there is also a huge opportunity for Dash to be implemented in the industrial sector of the country. And for me, I was also invited to speak at the Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Maracay and give another presentation to about 400 guests that they had waiting. Since the beginning of the Dash movement in Venezuela, led by Eugenia Alcala and the Dash Caracas conferences, there has been an explosion of interest in Dash in the South American country. Dash's cash-like features of instant private transfers with ultra-low fees are seen as a path to better financial stability. New projects such as Crypto Life X, Colibit, Get Free Dash Venezuela, Dash Help Me and more have brought excitement to the movement. The spread of Dash is reaching various geographical locations throughout the country, such as the subject of today's interview. Through an interpreter, I talked with the team who is making a serious push for Dash in Venezuela's second largest city, with a pre-proposal to the Dash Network Treasury. I hope you enjoy this interview with Dash Maracay. The Dash Maracay team started after the son of one of the members attended one of the first Dash Venezuela conference in Caracas. And today, they have one of the most ambitious proposals for Dash for the entire city led by a team of extremely professionals, including the CEO of Real Estate Chamber, the President of Chamber Industrial Commerce, the Vice President of Real Estate and Chamber of Venezuela, and the Director of the Real Estate Chamber. And today, they are in the talks of implementing Dash Digital Cash as a payment for all the employees in the industrial and factory sector in the region. And this is just another step into the cryptocurrency revolution. Join us. Go home and wait for the next dash adventure. I'll see you there.